On the server, you can steal permanent inventory slots. Trust me, this is a game changer. And with the premise out of the way, I want to make something clear. I legitimately consider myself one of you guys, a viewer. I've only ever played Minecraft with school friends and internet friends, but never before on a content creator SMP. So I want to share what that experience is like, how an average player like me holds up against some of the best players in the world, and the amazing friendships I've built along the way. Day one of the server. And oh boy am I filled with excitement. In typical SMP fashion, everyone huddled around a circle and set off in different directions. If I'm gonna be honest, I really didn't know what to do. When I encountered my first group of players, I knew I could take them on, but for some reason, unjustifiably killing someone just didn't feel right. I decided then and there that unless I was provoked, I would never throw the first punch. I set off on my way, eventually finding two players, Slurdfighter and Lamy B, the two server admins. Looking back in hindsight, I can't help but think how different my life would have been if Slurdfighter hadn't. Well that was a relief. After joining their VC, I think we hit it off because the next thing I knew, we were teammates. After that, we dove deep into the nether in search of gold for golden apples. Players like Mainpair, notorious for their PvP skills, were already wreaking havoc, and on a server like this, it wouldn't be long until we were forced to fight. Come to think of it, I don't think we had much of a choice. The world border started off very tiny, and was only expanding at one block per minute. And as we traversed the nether, I was reminded of why it's such a universally hated dimension when this happened. Just one wrong move, and there it was. My first death. This was a cold reminder of how unforgiving Minecraft can be, especially on a server like this. When I opened up my inventory, one of my slots was gone for good. For now, I made my way back into the nether, but if I wanted to get it back, I knew that there were just two options. Kill someone, or craft one using an absolutely ridiculous recipe. Slurdfighter had put everything in a chest, but it was only as I looked through my belongings that I realized something strange. That's a lot of items, and I don't have much space to carry all that junk. In fact, how did I even carry that many things to begin with? It turns out, due to a bug, I actually started off with all my slots at the beginning of the server, and only upon dying did the game realize, hold up, you should be on 17 slots, young man. So great, now I actually have to think about inventory management, everyone's favorite. Soon though, we made it to a bastion, where we were ever so kindly greeted by some friendly piglin brutes. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, no, that was not the last encounter we would have. Everyone's gotta be a little bit more careful. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh come on. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, oh, dude, that thing did seven hearts. Are you alive? Are you alive? No, Slurkfighter, I'm not alive, because your NPC brain decided to break a block and let a piglin through, and it did seven hearts of damage in one hit, even though I was wearing armor from head to toe. So, my second slot, gone. And with both of my teammates deep in the nether, I was on my own. I gathered wood, I gathered stone. I gathered coal, you get the point. But, as I was getting back on my feet, I couldn't help but notice the chat. x was slain by main pair. Mighty Raptor was slain by main pair. Mighty Raptor was slain by main pair again. x was slain by main pair again. Main and his team were truly ruthless. So much so that my teammate Slurdfighter made a whole video about his quest to destroy them. But for now, do you see that creeper right there? Yeah, alright, I know you enjoy my suffering. Just play the clip already. You know, it's actually quite funny how one second you can be stressing out about dying to a creeper, and the next second you can be stressing out about the fact that OH MY GOD IS THAT MAIN PAIR? And I'll be honest, all I could think was, run. Okay, to be fair, I did see him turn the other way at the beginning, but I still wanted to get as much distance as I could from the center of spawn. And while I wandered the server on my own, main and his team kept killing players. Meanwhile, I chased after some rabbits for a while. I know this seems irrelevant right now, but just remember that for me, alright? I also got food. Slord saved Lamy from burning to death in a bastion. I got you! I got you! Let's go! Let's go! I did some underwater mining with some professional scuba gear. And soon enough, Slord and Lamy made their way back in the overworld. Dang, bruh. We're in the corner corner. What the heck? Cords are negative 300, negative 300. And as I looked at my coordinates, I realized I was right under them. All I had to do was swim up. <laughs> Auto save. Oh, went outside. Yeah, you gotta go through the portal. It's like right on that other side of the portal. Listen. Where are you, bro? Oh! Bro, oh, you just drowned right in front of me, bro. Yo, look over there, bro. You see that loot? <laughs> that was crystal lit, bro. Do I even have to say anything? Whatever, I don't know if you noticed, but as I was running back, I ran past this dude, James JL. Turns out, he's part of Main Pair's team, and I'm pretty sure he just followed me back to our team. Bro, that's, that's funny. Happen. I didn't want to happen. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, Chris. Alright, whatever. At least I have gear. Let me smell some stuff. There's someone up there, there's someone up there. Uh, 
mostly keys. Oh shoot, that's not good. Do we kill him? Do we kill him? Yes, yes, yes. No, no, he, he's him. with Willy. He's with Willy. He's with Willy. Dig down, dig down, dig down. Dig down. Run. No, no, no. Just, uh, do you have a boat? Slow. Wait. Oh, they yeah, have yeah, a diamond yeah, axe. Here, here. Uh, Crystal, Crystal do make you have a boat. Make a boat quick. Okay, quick. okay, okay. Main pass here. Main pass here. Main pass here. Shoot. Main Paris team had found us in the river valley and were coming down to kill us. I crafted a boat to follow Sora and Lamy, but as I started rowing, out of the corner of my eye, I saw two players in full iron armor. Immediately, I turned around, and while I hid in the corner fearing for my life, Slord had been brutally ambushed and disrespected. So yeah, our reunion was pretty short. <laughs> Watching back the footage, I literally sat in that hole for like 7 minutes, and when I finally thought the coast was clear, and went out to get some fish, I met my own demise. Yet another slot down, I realized that people didn't have any sort of justification for killing you. If you happened to run into someone, which was impossible not to do because of the freaking world border, people saw you merely as a walking slot. With this in mind, and struggling for gear, I try to lay low, gathering resources as I hug the border to avoid oppositions. And by some stroke of luck, I ran into a pile of loot just sitting there on the ground. Like what? Except, as I feasted on these items, the owner, Wattmax, showed up. Now obviously, finders keepers, losers weepers, right? But the poor dude literally died a second time to a zombie while getting into a VC with me, so I let him keep half his stuff. What can I say? I'm a nice guy. Ha! And at this point, life seemed to be going great. I had a good amount of gear and food, and best of all, Slord had managed to negotiate for some temporary peace with Main Pair's team. No, 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 hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Because yeah. you guys are going around killing everyone, right? Maybe. And I'm guessing your goal is to, I don't, I don't even know what your goal is, like get the most slots on the server, who knows, right? But the thing is, what you don't understand is you're turning the entire server against you. And at some point, the entire server is gonna gang up on you guys. And I'm just saying, more bodies is more powerful than you guys will ever be. Bro. Low fighter one-liners actually go hard, I'm not gonna lie. I was genuinely surprised to see some of the players being so peaceful. We all knew it wouldn't be like this for long, so I enjoyed the peace while it lasted. By now, I caught wind of a sky base being made at the world spawn. And bro, I love sky bases. Whether that be in Minecraft, Fortnite, or any other game that lets you have sky bases, it's just such a cool vibe, you know? So anyway, obviously, I'm in my way there. And as I carefully made my way up the sky bridge, I encountered a player named PsychRMC with a similar fascination for sky bases. The two of us making it our mission to build a house in the sky. It was a fun break from all the chaos, and we also made sure to remove any path leading up to it so that it stayed there forever. At one point, I even hit the sick MLG water onto the subscribe button! It turns out, reminding your viewers to subscribe actually works. So hey, you've been reminded. But no, I did actually hit the MLG water for all you doubters out there, and fell straight into a player by the name of Sharu. It didn't really flow well with the whole uplifting vibe of the video earlier, but minutes before that, the same player, Sharu, had actually spleefed me. Hence, the gaping hole I fell down the second time. Yeah, that's right, I can hit multiple MLG waters in a row. The poor guy had nothing, so after messing around with him for a bit... Blow, blow. Oh no, 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 not the lava. Please, please, please. I do not want to become a couple no, generator. Well, this is I am on eight. <laughs> really? No, this is so eight. We let him go, and I even spared him some fish. Oh. Minutes later, while we were getting some wood together, he murdered me in cold. Okay, no, that's bad. He murdered me in cold blood. James, are you, drowning? Are you killing Crystal, bro? What is what's going on here? No and he has like a special ground. achievement where it doesn't- I felt so stupid, bro. Like I literally spared that guy's life and gave him my fish. Still, I did get my slot back later that day. But not before dying three more times, of course. The first time, because I suck. The second time, because I suck. And the third time, because my brother barged into my room and he sucks. He distracted me and while I was talking to him, I got punched off a cliff and died. I know you're watching this and I hope you feel guilty. And oh yeah, I also built this cool hide- Wait, no, there is one more death. Sorry to interrupt the video. Apparently, while building a big chrysalid sign in the sky, I just so happened to fall on the one block that isn't water. Like, what the heck, man? Ah, he sucks. So like I was saying, I built this cool little hideout that let me hide and keep tabs on spawn. Pretty convenient if you ask me, because apparently, main pair wasn't very happy about me killing Sheru. Who, who killed, who killed uh, Sheru? Chrysalid. <laughs> that was too bad. Literally, <laughs> Crystal. Yeah, it was Crystal and Moose. Yeah, where, where y'all boys at? I'm at spawn. I'm waiting for you. Well, I'm not. I'm we're mining. Not, we're not a part of you this. You want some iron? I found some iron. Come bring it to my spawn. Bro, that is Moose talking. Not, I've, not... I've been mining. Okay, yeah, so we all just started waffling and stalling like crazy. Plus, by now it's getting pretty late, and everyone's just feeling a little more silly. I mean, even Main Pair himself couldn't hold it together while laughing about an enchanted grappling hook. That wasn't a joke. <laughs> Imagine someone chasing you with a grappling hook. <laughs> Alright, 
What is this guy doing? <laughs> Jen did grappling. <laughs> <laughs> Rupert <laughs> <laughs> was dying. <laughs> 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 Yo, this guy, bro. Is he good? <laughs> and I include this clip just so y'all can see that when we're not recording, everyone on the server is just a group of friends having fun. Wait, 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 leave VC. Why? I don't know. He needs to like cool off or something. Oh my god. Are you done cooling off, bro? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! Imagine someone is chasing you! What's in his chest and grappling? You're walking down the street and this guy runs yeah. at you. Yo, alright, Wilson, bro. Oh, right. You got iron armor on? Oh you got fire resistance. Just in case you have a lava bucket. Yo! <laughs> oh, just in case you have a lava bucket. Why is he taking safety precautions? <laughs> oh my god! My stomach, oh my god! <laughs> and that, everyone, marks the end of day one. Early the next morning, while everyone was offline, I ventured far into the mountains to set up a secret base. And here's a short recap of that juicy content. It wasn't the prettiest thing in the world, but it was enough to keep me safe from the dangers of the outside world. And to be honest, there were many of those. In the coming days, I died in too many ways to commentate. So instead, you get this depressing montage. Starting off with a classic, we're in a bastion. What could go wrong? There is a piglin brute there, he jumps down, he's cutting me out with his axe, I've died to him once before. Now there's a hoglin as well, I get knocked out, do I make it out? No, I do not, and I die. Alright, that's a good one, on to the next clip. So it seems we're walking through a meadow. I think I'm mining into my base, we're mining some dirt blocks, everything is going fine. I drop down into my base. Oh wait, there's a couple dirt blocks missing, that's strange. I guess we'll look past it and jump down into the rest of my base. And who the heck put a lapis block there, bro? I'm gonna murder. All right, so we're looking at some horses. Oh my God, they just underwent mitosis. What is going on? All right, lock back in and I'm dead, okay. All right, wow, jumping straight to the next one. We're burning and we're in the nether. That is a recipe for disaster if I do say so myself. I throw a pearl, do I make it? And I land in a lava pool, I'm burning. I think that is all you guys need to see. But the clip is not over. I repeat, it is not over, ladies and gentlemen. It turns out I'm in a cave where I was bringing some villagers earlier and now I'm walking to my base. How many slots do you have now? Bro, shut up. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm on six slots, IRL friend, who I will not mention by name. I'm mining through some tough blocks right now, and that witch is throwing harming pots at me. No way I died to a witch, right? Ooh. Okay, shot another one. Another one, bro, my mining just got reset. What is going on? No, he shot another. Okay, I need to craft some blocks. What the heck, bro? I, no, yeah, well played, well played. What can I say? That was, yo, who do these two big nose creatures think they are right now? Aw, you're trying to grind some slots back. That's cute. Died. You see, what's so fun about watching this back is that past me has absolutely no clue that in two seconds, I'm going to fall to my death. One, two, oh, there I go. Oh, and this last one is especially concerning. It seems I'm going down to the fortress where I farm my wither skeleton heads. I probably just lost all my stuff, and I currently have two pieces of leather armor and nothing to my name. Why am I going in there? Naked. Don't go- Oh my god, that is so funny. What the heck? That's crazy. Oh my- Okay, pause. With only four slots to my name, I had reached a new low. As I carefully retrieved my skulls and returned home, it hit me that I was now only four deaths away from being banned off the server. I had to be really careful with how I proceeded and what items I chose to carry around. Luckily, as they say, when you reach rock bottom, you can only really go up. And from that point forth, I was on the up. Still dying a little here and there, but for the most part, I was net positive. With more slots to my name, I experienced more adventures, such as for example, helping Davy Cat hunt players across the server for his video. Now there was nothing left to do but ask the question. Oh god, what is our ultimate goal for the server? I'm trying to, like, be able to function. And I actually find this part of Dabby Cat's video funny, because I was really just trying to function. And over the next few days, I spent a lot more time grinding and talking to my teammates, which was honestly a ton of fun. Anyways, through hours of netherite mining, collecting wither skulls, rabbit farming, gas hunting, sand shoveling, I was eventually back on 18 slots. Now two weeks into the start of the server, with my newfound storage capacity, I was finally able to exercise my love for building, and turn our ugly ah spawn into a beautiful place. 
and in a brief moment of reflection, I realized that here I stood, back at spawn and back on 18 slots, having gained, most importantly, a unique experience. And if you enjoyed the video, I'll see you in this one, where I conquered an entire Minecraft dimension. Like, I literally fully controlled it, and it was super awesome. So that's it. Video's over. Go watch it. Goodbye.